In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the bow, which is the first ranged weapon that you were able to craft in Last Day on Earth. And we're going to see just how powerful we can make it by equipping the best mods onto it. And I'll give you my opinion on if these mods are worth crafting or not. But let's start at the beginning. So as the bow is one of the first ranged weapons that you're able to craft, it isn't that expensive. It is a bit more expensive than the spear because you get that added bonus of being able to put some distance between you and your enemies. But uh, as you can see, a base level bow does not do too much. You are going to want to limit this to taking care of slow moving zombies like uh, roamers or fringy giants in normal mode alpha. Now, things do get a little bit more interesting when you equip all of the best mods on the bow, and it becomes something that you can actually use in a bit of late game, not too far into it. We'll touch on that more a bit later, but the best mods for the bow are Composite Bow and Laser Sight. As you can see, both of those are extremely spendy. You have Carbon Composite and Factory Parts for both of them. And down to the Composite String, which gives us our active skill, which we'll take a look at a bit later, and Large Quiver. So, now we're back in pine bushes, and we're taking out another roaming zombie with a fully modded bow this time. And as you can notice, it took the zombie out a good bit quicker than the unmodded bow, but it's still not that fast. Now, the active skill here is a bit more powerful, and it's actually an interesting skill because it has a dynamic damage value. The active skill's damage scales off how close you are to your enemy. So, here I was right next to that zombie, and I got 34 damage. And the nice thing about Point Blank Shot is it doesn't have a very long recharge time. And I was a bit further away from that zombie and I got 27. So it kind of rewards you for being super close to your enemies. And it could be a good strategy to start with a long shot on the enemy. And then when they get close, try to do a bit more extra damage with the active skill. Now the bow used to be good for Frenzy Giants, but it has since been nerfed. And I would just recommend wall tricking even with a modded bow. Now, in comparison to the fully modded bow, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the crossbow. And as you can see, the crossbow completely outclasses even a fully modded bow that we had to invest a ton of really rare resources in. Now, as far as my opinion on modding this weapon, I would actually advise against it. I think it's more of a novelty modding weapon, like the spear and the zip gun. In contrast, the sawblade mace is a weapon that becomes a complete monster if you invest time into it. And that will do it for this episode on the bow. Hopefully you'll learn some useful information about it. And if you're interested in more informational Last Day on Earth content, check out my LDOE log playlist. I've got tons of other informational videos in there. And as always, thanks again for watching and have yourself a great day.